right, there you go. Yeah, I gotta subscribe. I've been right watching here. you all the time. I'm here because of you. Walked up to my Thanks store. to you, I'm here. How long you been with Prime? I just started. You just like started? Like a week ago, yeah. Start navigation. You are heading to McCain Foods, Allentown, Pennsylvania. What is up, Slime Pack Pack Nation? As you can see, if you watch my videos in order, I am just leaving this receiver where I just dropped a load at. And I already got a, another load. And luckily, it is picking up literally one mile down the road. And we are going to South Portland, Maine. I think I'm currently like 400 miles away from there. So we're gonna go ahead and get on this low and get it dropped. I really don't like going to Maine, but it is what it is. We're gonna get there and get this load delivered. I think the appointment time is at five in the afternoon. I got basically kind of a four o'clock. So I may drive all the way over there and park up somewhere, or I just may split it off. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but I'll catch y'all whenever I get down here to this shipper. And y'all, this trailer is already full of fuel. I mean, it's on full, full. Half a mile turn left. Ain't no way. I'm going back out the same way I came in. So I'm guessing he want me to park over here. I have no idea what is going on. All that yard, well, the guard shack guy, all he did was point this way. He didn't say, call this number or nothing. I ain't have time to check my prime notes because I just hopped on this load. The appointment time is at 10 o'clock and it's already like 9.30. Right here, since I'm already real quick see if it's a number I'm supposed to be calling all right so we get ready to just walk over here to where it says dock office and check in Go around the building. 
It's like I'm basically already around the building. Door 57, temperature negative 10. We're going to go ahead and cut this trailer on. Set the temp and open my doors. This don't take too long. emphasis on go all the way he made sure he said all the way and then this way so I should be going the right way somebody in door 56 oh 57 oh, okay dang I should have went that way some space we're just gonna pull up straight through here That's all that matters. See how long it take to get loaded? It's currently 9.50 a.m. Can't get this door back here to close. Thank 
Thank you, sir. I must fix it. Thank you. Seal number 1002 124. 1002 124. What the weights looking like? Mm. Look pretty cool at the back for the position that I'm in. I think this is, I don't know what this is because I just seen a, a tater tot on the floor. So that's what it may be. Or somebody was eating someone. We, ooh, ooh. we should be good, but I need to get on level ground. So this is where we parked up at at this rest area. Doing my pre-trip. I really don't want to park here, but I went to three truck stops and all the parking was full. And luckily I rolled up in here and this was the only spot left and I got lucky with that. Uh I think the uh most of this rest area is closed because they look like they're doing construction on it but my plan is i'm gonna leave about four in the morning and i'm gonna try to make it over there to this Lowe's. that's where my fuel stop is and i'm gonna head over there pause my clock catch me a shower and just chill out because the Lowe's is about 150 miles from my drop-off location so I'm gonna try to plan this out pretty good. They said we could arrive to the location two hours early. My appointment time is at five. So I'm gonna try to get there in between three and four. So yeah, I should be pulling out around 11 a.m. But tonight I'm pulling out around 3.30, 4 a.m. So it should be some parking around that time whenever I get to the loves. All right, Slime Pack Nation, we just got done with the pre-trip. Getting ready to head out. And I'm glad ain't nobody to the left of me so I can be able to swing this towards the left because it's pretty tight getting out of here. I done witnessed one truck already snug the front of somebody's hood. I think because the other truck was parked a little too far ahead, but yeah. Just go ahead and take it over to the left a little bit. It's a box truck right there. I should be able to get out of here with no problem. What we about to do is, I'm about to head to this Lowe's. I'm like three hours away. I started later than what I wanted to. But I still got plenty of time. Okay, got by there pretty good. So I made it to the Lowe's. Um, I think I'm in Connecticut. That's the last welcome thing I heard was Connecticut. I'm currently like 180 miles from the 90. I'm getting ready to get me a shower. This is a newer built Lowe's. You pass these trucks. It looks real nice, but they only got three showers and probably about maybe 50 parking spots this is where i'm gonna be fueling up and if i get back to the truck i'm gonna try to calculate my little fuel plan i don't have a pre-plan yet but i'm ready to get from all the way up here i hate i hate being on north People don't say excuse me or nothing. Shower three. 
Let's see how nice this shower is. Since it's newer. 18295. Nothing fancy. Still your regular old gloves. But the counter space is big. So I am out the shower. I am dressed. Like, I feel good, I took a shower, I smell good, I feel like I look good, so that ultimately makes me feel good. I'm in a, I'm in a better headspace, I'm in a better mood. I'm ready to hit this roll. It's only 11.40 a.m. and I promise you, it feels like it's three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I got like three hours, three to three and a half hours left to get to my 90. In about 15 minutes, I'm going to pull out and head over here and get some fuel. And now, and now that we're speaking of fuel, I need to figure out how much fuel I'm going to get. I did fill up my tanks like, what day was that? I think it was Wednesday. And today is Friday. And I'm a little bit under a half. Yeah, I probably got about 300 miles left in my tank. And fuel here is 295. The average amount of fuel in Maine is like, okay, that ain't too bad. Where I'm going? Oh, Portland, $3.26. Three sixty, basically in the three sixties, and it ain't many truck stops like in my route to where I'm going. I'm going to South Portland, I think. Yeah, so I may get a little bit of fuel here, cause either way it go, whether I go up, keep going up. If I get another low, fuel is higher. I got to come back down. Fuel is still gonna be higher, and where I'm at right here. This is the cheapest amount up until I get back to Pennsylvania. So I may put about, let me see. Five, five, two, 67. I may put about two, hold on. I don't wanna spend that much. Sometimes, like, whenever I'm figuring out fuel, I put, okay, I only want to spend about $150 of fuel. Okay, I do that, and I divide it by how much fuel is per gallon. And, okay, that's 50 gallons. All right, so I can get 400 miles out of that. So I don't need that much. So we're getting ready to head over here, get this fuel, and go over here to this 90 which is the drop off location. Drop this load off. Hopefully I can have a pre-plan by the time I leave from there. My clock is paused right now. I got I got one second. I got 10 hours on my 70 and 7 hours and 45 minutes on my drive time. I'm about to use probably about 3 hours and 30 minutes on my drive clock. So hopefully I can get another pre-plan so I can figure out which way I'm going to go. Parking, man, parking was crazy. I tried to park like yesterday around, it was 12 something, I think. And it was no parking spots. And then the distance for truck stops was so long. Luckily, I pulled into a uh, rest area and it was only one spot open. So that's good. Um, whenever I get over there to my 90, I'm going to try to figure out my parking situation because by the time they unload me, it's going to be dark because my appointment time 8 until 5 p.m. We can show up two hours early and I know I'm not going to get out of there before no 6 o'clock. If I do, I'll be happy, but still parking is going to be an issue for me. So let's get over here and get this fuel. And I need to eat something. <clears throat> so I'm 
So I'm about to go over here and get this fuel and I need to eat some. I haven't ate yet. Sometimes I be forgetting to eat because I just be running, running, running. I know I'm gonna grab me a coffee. I done got my ice. I need to fill up my uh, water bottle with some ice. Let's go get this fuel. picking up like four miles away from here it's picking up tomorrow at 11 a.m so i'm leaving from maine going back to illinois and that delivery date is on the 15th so that is a monday today is friday so that's gonna be my load for the weekend I can actually get over there early. I'm gonna call around to see if they accept me early or if they have overnight parking. If they do, I'm gonna go ahead and park up over there. I'm waiting to get unloaded. And while I'm waiting, I'm gonna go ahead and try the trip plan with this next plan, figure out my fuel situation, what I'm gonna do. I got enough to get out of Maine I basically got enough to get back to where I put fuel in in case I need well I know I'm gonna need to have more fuel but that's the cheapest fuel route going back towards the way with the amount of fuel that I got so I'm gonna figure out my fuel route and all of that stuff while I'm waiting and I get back to y'all once they start unloading or whenever I get unloaded 
All right, there you go. Yeah, I got to subscribe. I've right been here. watching you all the time. I'm here because of you. you walked up to my Thanks store. to you, I'm here. How long you been with Prime? I just started. You just like started? Like a week ago, yeah. That's good, man. I appreciate you for uh, supporting the channel. All the time. And thank you. No problem. How you liking it? So far, it's good. It's Can't good. Can't complain. What you, uh, you with lease or company? Lease. Lease? I want lease, yeah. You think you made the right choice? For now, I think so, yeah. Okay. So far, I'm getting good low, so I can't complain. Okay, that's good. How long you been waiting? I got here like at 2, 2 30. What's your appointment time? 5 o'clock. Mine's too. Yours too? Mm -hmm. I and read I in the reviews. They sent me a low to go to Ohio. I got one going to Illinois. Don't go 90. Storms is that way. I just checked. I'm going back to through New York. 78. Okay. That's, yeah, that's the way I came around. Okay. I came from there from Allentown yesterday. Okay. I got, you know, I slept on a, on the rest area uh -huh. after I came here today. I slept in the rest area too. Truck stops. It was crazy last Truck night. Truck stops was packed. It was like I was looking for parking at 12 p.m. and then all of them was packed. That's crazy. I had seen him whenever I was going around the back part of the staging area to find somewhere to park and I seen him looking. It's like I could always tell by the way somebody looking, they got that look like, hey, I know you, you that girl from YouTube. And he just popped up over here. And it made me feel good whenever people say my videos impact them in a positive way. Like I said, I don't do this inten intentionally, but if it do impact you in any kind of, you know, positive way, that made me feel good because I do all my videos with not the intent, of anything just showing my journey as like you know a beginner trucker and I make my videos for people that's like me that's like you know in the same space that I am I don't make my videos for you know y'all professionals y'all super truckers but if you do watch my videos I appreciate it I just you know like recording my journey and I can't say it enough I appreciate everybody that be watching my videos
Okay, thank you. He said we could shut the reefer off, but it don't. It ain't gonna run anyway with the doors open. But that's good that they said we could cut it off. So I done made it over here to the next location for the next load. And I done cleaned the trailer out. This next load is a dry load, so I ain't got to worry about cutting that unit on. I ain't even had to get no fuel throughout this whole trip, and I've been having to keep it on minus 10. So that's real good. And I'm still at three fourths. When I picked it up, it was like on full four. So um, at least I ain't got to worry about no fuel for the trailer. But yeah, I'm getting ready to get back here, unwind, lay down, chill, watch some TV, edit a video, and I'll see y'all on the next video. Thank y'all for watching. Oh, thank you for liking and subscribing because I know y'all already did that, right? If you haven't, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I'll see y'all on the next video.